Hello everyone and welcome in this video and today we are going to take a look at Windows tool called Taskbar Groups and before doing that let's give a quick shout out to my recent subscriber called SASDEV and with that being said let's go straight to the Taskbar Groups website or their github repository and today I will explain what Taskbar Groups is, how to install it, how to use it and also how to uninstall it in case you, do, you just don't want to use it anymore. So right now, if I go through their repository, they have written that Taskbar Groups is a lightweight utility for Windows that lets the users create groups of shortcuts in the taskbar. So I think this is all it says, and I think it's very, very simple. And if we go to the releases right now, we will try to install this program on our computers. And here we have pre-release version 0.2. Two, and I will click right here to the taskbar groups zip to download the file and I already did that and extracted the file itself uh, as you can see we have the taskbar groups right here extracted the file and I highly recommend uh, to put the extracted file to the local disk C folder uh, for example I here created tweaks folder and put it to the extracted uh, taskbar groups uh, folder right here so this is the installation I think is quite simple so if we go how to use this program right now so the taskbar groups program so the taskbar groups you will first need to add the taskbar group so for this to work I will just uh, add a brand new shortcut right here and I will just pick a few shortcuts for example I will add uh, Firefox, Firefox to my uh, taskbar group Microsoft Edge as well I will also add a few uh, more of them for example let's say uh, wordpad and i will also add uh, windows media player so here we have four shortcuts uh, and the taskbar group also have the color has the color options so here we have the dark mode the dark the light mode and custom color options and here we have also the opacity so right now if i click the save right here uh, save we also need to select the name so for example uh, i will select the group one or typing group one group one i will click Save right here and here we have created our group one and on the left right here it says right click on the shortcut named as your new group so right here we have the group one I will right click it and it will uh, send me to the uh, folder where the this group one is created right now if I right, right click it show more options and I will pin it to the taskbar so with that being said I will show you how it looks right now so this is our shortcut I know it looks a bit weird right now, but I will just fix it with a light color. So if you have the windows in light color, I suggest you that you also use the shortcut color uh, to the light. So I will just put it to the light right now. And uh, right now it looks like that. I think it looks uh, very, very nice right now. So if you, we also have the opacity settings right here. So for example, the zero is without the opacity actually, uh, it doesn't have any translucent uh, accents right here. So I think uh, this one looks uh, the best, but if you want to, you can also set uh, opacity to 100% and it looks like that, so it isn't visible. So I will put it to the, to the zero. And I think this looks the best in my opinion. So I think it looks, yes, I think it looks great. So we also have here the option to allow open all shortcuts. Uh, if I click uh, and check this mark right here, I will click save. And if I open the sh our shortcut right here and I will press the CTRL plus enter and it should open all these shortcuts that are in this um, taskbar group currently. So right now it's opening all these programs and I think that this shortcut it's quite neat if you have all the important programs right here in and you can also open it with quick simple shortcut without clicking all on all of them. So. Uh, right now, if you haven't noticed already, we have also the width options. For example, we have the width, uh, I will say, for example, to do two. And right now, this shortcut will look like that. So I think this one looks uh, a bit better in my opinion. So also, we have the edit group options right here. We can change the change the group icon. So I think this feature actually doesn't work right now, but I will show you anyway. So I already downloaded one icon uh, from this uh, web page. I will also put a link in the video down below. So we have here icon finder and this uh, I will just put here to the other and icon and I already 
downloaded the icon uh, file. So uh, if I go to the change the group icon right now, go to the downloads and here we have the, this uh, icon that I just downloaded. So I will click open right here and we just change group icon. Yes, it changes, but for example, it doesn't change it in the, here on the taskbar, but it changes here. Uh, if I click, right click, as you can see, you have here this brand new uh, icon that we just set. Uninstallation procedure is also quite simple. So close the taskbar groups exe file, unpin your group from taskbar, go back to your file explorer, and go to your local disk C and just delete this folder that contains um, taskbar groups uh, exe file. So in this case, Twix folder, I will just click show more options and delete. And with that being said, please consider subscribing to this channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.